Red Wing Iron Rangers. Hands down, uh, the best boots I've ever owned. My absolute favourites. Uh, my old faithfuls, my best friends. <laughs> um, yeah, I've had these since 2009, so 15 years of wear and abuse, and they really have been abused. Um, for the first at least 10 or 11 years that I owned these, they were the only boots I owned, except for my work shoes. Um, so I did everything with, in them, you know what I mean? Uh, thousands of miles on the bike, um, just tons and tons of miles. Walking, camping, skateboarding, um, yeah, these, these just took so much abuse. Um, I just didn't have much money at the time, so I couldn't afford another pair of boots. I didn't have any flip-flops. If I went to the beach, I wore them. Not with um, Speedos or anything, obviously, but I'd walk down the beach with my jeans and take them off and go swimming. Uh, but <laughs> they, um, they've took a hammering. Um, they've probably had like 30 years or 40 years of use that, that maybe um, a regular person would wear, you know, amount of wear they'd take. I didn't oil them as much as I should have, and so over the years they've cracked and stuff. I mean, I did oil them once a year, but obviously for the amount of wear and tear they were having, there's a hole there. Um, for the amount of wear and tear they were having, I just didn't take enough care of them. But all in all, considering what they've gone through, I think they've lasted really well. I mean. Like I say, all the, all the miles and trips I've done on the bike, on my old chopper, um, you can see, you know, just pummeled with the gear shifters and stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, skateboarding, there's an ollie hole. Um, they've really been hammered. They've been resold um, a couple of times. They've been really healed numerous times. Um, I've, I've changed the soles. When they come, they come with a oil resistant sole, but it's flat and I, I always, even my current ones, I've changed them for the Vibram sole, um, which is, is just much better for motorbikes um, or motorcycles, wet roads and stuff. It gives you a, a, a little chance, whereas the others, you know, you're kind of really cautious. But that, obviously they're not motorcycle boots, but I mean, plenty of people wear them on motorcycles. Um, that really, I mean, I mean, Red Wing boots are originally started in 1905, I think, and they were, they were obviously designed as, you know, farmers, boots, miners, construction workers, people outdoors, tough living, you know, a durable boot. Um, over the years, I think, Lots of people on motorcycles wear Red Wings. I, I remember buying a pair years and years ago, engineer boots, um, back in the 90s, and uh, I didn't even know what Red Wings were. Um, but they were fantastic, the engineer boots. But these Iron Rangers, what I really like about them is um, you can wear them out, you know, you, you go, so if, if you're on a trip or, or you're just out on the bike, you know, you get off and you just feel like you've got a really decent, good looking boot. I mean, maybe, you know, I mean, obviously beauty's in the eye of the beholder. To me, these are a good looking boot. I mean, these are battered now. They look more like they should be on Charlie Chaplin or something, <laughs> but um, I can't part with them. I've got, I've got a couple of other pairs now. Um, and the good, when I've bought, when I bought these, they were, they were going for 200 pounds at the time, thereabouts. I had a friend that worked in a shop and he cut me a really good deal when his boss was out. And I, I got a really good deal on these. I paid nowhere near that. Just, I think I paid just over a one. So, and at the time I had no money. That was like all the money I had in the world. And um, it really hurt even paying a one. But looking back, I mean, 15 years, just worn them for years and days and days and uh, yeah I had a touch man and and when you first buy them a new pair they're very very stiff and after a week I wanted to throw them away I just hated them and then after the second week they just gave and they broke in and they were they were wicked and then I realized how good they were um, these were um, yeah and the other thing I'd say is um, 
it's, but I'll, I'll buy it. You can, they always pop up on eBay secondhand and normally just like a week or so old. You can often find a pair where someone's obviously bought them, don't realize they break in after a bit. And, and I've bought a couple of pairs for like half price and just been a week or two old and ha absolutely zero wear. So yeah, don't, I kind of wouldn't buy them. New. You'd always find them on eBay. And uh, yeah, they were, you know, for that price, they were a really cool boot. Um, when I bought these, they were actually brown, these ones. Um, I didn't know anyone that had a pair at the time. Um, and I bought, I bought them and all of a sudden, within six months, uh, at least four or five people I know bought, bought exactly the same boot, exactly the same color, which is cool. But So I ended up dyeing mine black um, just because it was really bugging me that everyone had to say we looked like the brown boot, the brown red wing iron ranger squad or something. So I dyed mine black, which kind of didn't go too well, but it kind of, it looked better than wearing the same boots as everyone you know. Um, but over the years, yeah, man, these, these boots are killer for, for, for anything as well. Just wearing around, camping, hiking around. Obviously, there's no armor, there's no protection in them for motorcycling, but they are so comfortable. They are such a comfy boot and such a good looking boot. So um, here's another pair, um, just to show you the difference. These are like a suede pair. Um, and much newer, these are about three, three years old, four years old. <coughs> but, um, so you can see how they start life. I mean, especially if I compare it with one of these others. You can see over the years, they kind of shrink <laughs> like humans. <laughs> these old ones just gradually shrinks away. These are the same size. Also with red wing boots, um, these, I normally buy a nine um, in most shoes, but in these I buy an eight and, and I've still got room to put a couple of pair of socks on. Um, they come up kind of big, or I find they do. So I'd, I'd double check that, maybe you know, if you're gonna buy a pair or thinking of buying a pair, I'd double check that. But these are the soles they come with, or a lot of them do. Some of them actually come with a Vibram sole now. The Hawthorne Mule Skinner definitely come with a Vibram sole. Um, but these soles, I mean, they're great, but not in the wet on a bike. Um, uh, they're oil resistant, but yeah, red wing boots, yeah, especially, you know, I like a lot of the red wing boots. But I love the engineer boots. I love the Pecos kind of boot, but they're just a slip on. They're not so good on a bike, but um, these Iron Rangers, it's the boot of all boot for me. These are, uh, I need these for healing again. And you can see I walk funny man. I always do that to one boot. But um, these are the boots of all boots. These are the king of boots to me. I, I, I would never, I would never go anywhere else really. I mean, I've got a pair of Bellstaff um, endurance boots, but I mainly bought them because they're waterproof. But I, I kind of, you know, if I was going on a trip, I mean, I'm going to Spain this year for three or four weeks and um, I would definitely, wear an Iron Ranger for that. I mean, if, you know, in Spain where it's hot, if you get wet feet, you, it dries out pretty quick anyway, so I wouldn't worry so much. But for an every, for a boot, all purpose, you wanna go skateboarding? You wanna climb? <laughs> you wanna jump around, tear it up, or, uh, you know, whatever you're doing. They're kind of the boot of all boots.